Hello coders! In the previous video in this tutorial, we uploaded the media we need for an escape room app. We can see that media in the bottom right hand corner of MIT App Inventor. We also added a player component from the media drawer, and that player component is a non visible component that appears below our mobile device within the MIT App Inventor interface. We're going to start the next part of this tutorial by going to My Projects and choosing Save Project As. Here we see the file name we used from the first video. I'm going to carefully click on the right side of this text and use my backspace key to replace the one with a two. This is version two of our app. And click OK. It takes a moment before we see that change in the top left hand corner of MIT App Inventor. Now that we have version two loaded, we are going to start adding some more components and adjusting some of the properties of those components. So for example, here are my components. I have screen one highlighted and on the right side of MIT App Inventor, I see the properties for screen one. One of the first changes I'd like to make to those properties is the horizontal alignment. So here with align horizontal, I'd like to change the screen one alignment to center. If I scroll down, I also see some other options. I also see screen orientation, and I would like to lock that to portrait. If I scroll back up here in the middle, I can see that currently I'm developing this app for a phone sized device. For my purposes, I would like to use a tablet sized device. If you decide to develop your app for a phone, you may just need to use some smaller fonts and smaller images uh, during future steps of this tutorial. Next, I'm gonna create my splash screen. My splash screen is gonna be simulated by choosing an option from our layout drawer on the left-hand side of App Inventor. When I click on layout, I see there's something called a vertical arrangement, and I'm gonna drag that vertical arrangement out onto my user interface. When I let go, I can see it is centered, and that's because we chose a screen one horizontal alignment as center. And I want to begin to adjust some of the properties of that component. But before I do so, I'm going to rename that vertical arrangement. I'm gonna shorten this up to V-E-R-T-A-R-R, -R, short for vertical arrangement. And then I'll do an underscore and type splash screen and click OK. Over on the right side of my screen, I can now see the properties for that vertical arrangement splash screen. And some of the options I would like to choose include a line horizontal. I'm going to keep that as left, a line vertical, keep that as top, height, I'm going to adjust to fill parent and click OK. Width, I'm going to choose fill parent and click OK. And then I'm going to choose an image. Remember we uploaded some images during the last tutorial, and so I'm going to choose the image of my ship and click OK. Next, I would like to add some other components to my splash screen, including a label and a button. If I go to the left side of MIT App Inventor in the user interface drawer, I see there is a label option, and I'm going to drag this label out onto my user interface. Again, I'm going to rename this label, and so clicking on rename, I'm gonna carefully click on the right side of that text, remove the one, add an underscore, and I'll call this the app title and click OK. Over on the right side of my properties screen, I have some options. I'm going to come down here to the uh, font size option, and I'm going to go for a much larger font size. In this case, I'll do 45 point font. If you're working with a smaller mobile device like a phone, you might want to choose something like 20 to 30 point font. I'm also going to change the font color. And so I'm looking at my components and I see that my font color 
down towards the bottom, text color is set as a default of black. I'm going to choose white. Next, I'm looking for the text property, and I'm going to change this text to Nick's escape room. And I'm going to use something called an escape sequence, which is a backslash character and an N. The backslash character on my keyboard is on a key right above my enter key. You'll probably find it in the same location on your keyboard. And the backslash character looks like it's falling to the left. It's often confused with a right leaning uh, forward slash character. So just make sure you're choosing the right one. I'm going to now add a second line to this text and I'll do something like enter if you dare exclamation point. Notice that on my user interface, I have two rows of text. I have Nick's escape room. That backslash N that we inserted now creates a new line and I have enter if you dare. I'm going to now come over to my user interface and I'm going to look for a button component on the left side of MIT App Inventor. And I'm going to drag that button just below the label I just created. And I'm going to make some adjustments to that component. I'll start by renaming that button, clicking to the right side of that text and carefully deleting the one. I'm going to rename this to button enter room. And click OK. I'm going to change my font size to 45 again. Again, if you're using a phone or a smaller device, you can use a smaller font size. And I'm going to change the text for that button on the right side of my screen here to Enter. I think we'll use all caps. And I'd like to do something a little bit creative here with this text. So I'm going to open up a new tab. And I'm going to search for skull and crossbones character. Click on this first link here. I see a skull and crossbones character that I can carefully highlight, right click, and copy. And then I'm going to go back to MIT App Inventor. And I'm going to paste this by clicking Control V for and after my Enter text. Now, when I press Enter on my keyboard, I get some rather fancy text here on my button. I'd like to make a few more changes to that button. Uh, one change I'd like to make is the background color. So I'm going to change that to red. I'd like to also scroll down here and change the shape of that button to rounded. And I don't really love how that looks kind of jammed up in the top left corner of my user interface. So I'm going to click on screen one. No, actually splash screen. Here we go. I'm clicking on my splash screen component within my components list. And I'm going to change my align horizontal to center. And I'm going to change my align vertical to bottom. All right, I think that does it for my splash screen on the user interface. My next step is to add some functionality. And we do that by going to the top right hand corner of MIT App Inventor and finding the blocks button. If I click on blocks, I can now add some functionality to my app. We're going to do just a few quick things here and save most of the functionality for future parts of this tutorial. Over on the left side of my block screen, I see those components that I added to my user interface. And I'm thankful that I renamed them because now I can see exactly which components I'm working with and what their purpose and function is within the app. I'm going to find my button component and I'm going to click on button enter room. And that drawer now gives me a bunch of options. The option I want is this first option. It's called an event handler, and it will handle any events associated with that button. In this case, it will handle any click events. When the user clicks that button, I want my app to do a certain algorithm. 
in this case, I'm going to want the app to make the splash screen disappear. And so I'm going to now click on my vertical arrangement splash screen drawer over on the left. When I click on that splash screen, I get some other options associated with that arrangement. And down towards the bottom of that list, I see this dark green set block. This block has the purpose of setting that vertical arrangement to visible or invisible. So I'm going to drag that over and plug that into my event handler. If we want our component to be visible, we set it to true. And if we want it to be invisible, we set it to false. So if I go to my logic drawer, I can find a false block and I can plug that into the visible set block. So my user will click that button and it will make my splash screen disappear. But I do want to be mindful of this app when it first loads. Specifically, I want to make sure that my splash screen is visible. So I'm going to now click on screen one component and I'm going to choose a second event handler called when screen one initialize. And I want to make sure that when my app is first initialized, when somebody first opens up my escape room, that they can see the splash screen. So I'm going to now right click on this green set block and I'm going to duplicate it and drag that over to my second event handler, plug it in. And now on the right hand side, I'm going to change this false to true. That true will ensure that when somebody opens up this app for the first time, they see the splash screen. We're going to stop this part of the tutorial and allow you to check your app's functionality. So that means you're going to click on your connect button and you're going to choose the AI companion if you have a mobile device with the companion installed, or you can use the emulator if you have that installed on your computer. So make sure you check your app's functionality, Make sure that the splash screen loads when the app first loads, and make sure that when you click that enter room button, the splash screen will disappear.